UK is an online music and entertainment magazine. <coughs> We've just passed um, 3 million unique users. To give you a little insight into where we started, I was in my first year of university at Brunel in 2006 and I, I had set up a cleaning company called JK Maintenance. It was going really well. I was telling Jack earlier that like, we were making like 50, 90 pound a week. Orientating. The idea of dropout came because I guess your dropout is playing on the irony of a student and it's for students. It worked. The student union liked it, the dean of the university liked it, so we kind of ran. Facebook was amazing because it allowed me to have access to a market that even Job Center didn't allow me to have access to. I could type in web designer, every individual that put web designer in their um, bio, it came up, I could Facebook them. Even if they didn't respond, at least I knew I was touching a market that I actually needed. I could put videographer, graphic designer, journalist, whatever it was. I used Facebook probably at four hours a day for a month until they disabled my account. I need to buy more clothes in the summer, I'm gonna work. If I need to do this, I'm gonna work. And that mindset allows you to really enjoy learning. It allows you to really enjoy just getting better at your craft. And you rarely get that. You rarely Please ensure that you're learning, always ensure that you're trying to get better at your craft. Through keeping my head down, I managed to get a meeting with um, IPC Media. IPC Media own um, FHM, Enemy, um, Health and Fitness Magazine, a few other companies. And I had a meeting with them in um, their office in London Bridge. It was a great meeting, they wanted to um, assist us in creating more visual content. We started to meet every week after that. And as our meetings progressed, I felt that they wanted to get on board, but I wasn't in no position to kind of ask them to get on board. These are IPC, like, these are the big guys. Finally, I got an email asking if they could bring their two web developers on board, Dropout UK. And at this time, I had still been bringing on board intern web designers from all over the England. So this opportunity again it was a defining moment because it meant we have two of my best developers and the best designers in this game working for Dropout UK. It was an incredible moment but it hey, we, I, I'm, I'm gonna kind of address everything I say so you guys follow me. I say we at this time it was just I it was just me, it was no one else, it was just me. But from a psychological perspective, something helped when I kept saying we. I felt like I had a business. Although it was just a, a, an idea at that point, everyone I communicated with, I continued to say we. My mum and dad even laughed like, it's we, but you're in your bedroom on your own. But sometimes you have to fool yourself. Sometimes you have to fool yourself into kind of believing that you've got something, even though from like a tangible perspective, it may look like nothing. It's all here, it's all here, and it's about kind of mentally conditioning yourself into putting yourself into this zone of, okay, I'm a businessman, I'm out here, and the rest of them. Student, it's really important for me to kind of get over the message that, that I'm exactly like you guys, like we're in the same boat. I just got lucky and worked hard. And I'm still 